Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper. And today I'm gonna show you how I made a star like this with only this stuff here. So let me show you what I have. And really, you don't need this, but it's the Delicata Gold. You really don't need this, but I added some embellishments for fun. This is also optional. So really, this is all you need to make that star. So let's go ahead and go over that and I'll add the embellishments later. You need a pair of uh, paper snips, a ruler, some multi-purpose Tombow glue, a bone folder is nice to have, and then you need two sheets of uh, six by six designer series paper. This one is the wrapped in plaid. It's already cut six by six and it's so Christmassy so I thought I'd just make a Christmas star. So it is a very easy if you know how to fold paper in half then you're good to go. So let's go ahead and do the first one. You're gonna do two identical folds and all you're gonna do is fold it in half so if you can do that, you're good. Because then you're going to take the paper, open it back up, and fold it in half the other way. Okay. Then you're going to open it up. You're going to now fold it in half diagonally. Making sure those corners match up, open it up, turn it, and fold it in half diagonally again the other way. So what you do to one side, you do to the other side. Make sure you get it nice and straight because that is gonna make everything easier. And if you need to use your bone folder, feel free. Now, when you do that, there may be some places where it shows white, like this right here, where the, the color part um, raises up, but that's okay, we're gonna fix that. So now we've got this guy that has all of these different folds, right? Because that's what we put in there. So now, let's go ahead, and this is where we get our ruler out. And on every single one of these sides, so here, 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 and here, you're going to measure one and a half. I'm sorry, one and a quarter. There we go. So it's best just to match it up like that because then when you take your pen and you score it like that, you know exactly where that fold is. And you're gonna do that all the way around uh, a one and a quarter. And once you understand exactly where your scissors are, you are not gonna need to do your ruler. You can kind of do these more and more and you'll know exactly where your scissors need to be as far as how open they need to be. So when you're doing your first cut here, you see exactly where it needs to be. So if I go and do this side, it is a little harder if you're not gonna put those lines on there, but you'll know that that should be pretty darn close to one and a quarter. And look at that, it's exactly one and a quarter. Okay, so, but for now, when you're first starting out, put those lines, it makes it easier. That way you know exactly where to cut. And there we go. So we've got those four cuts like that. Okay, now this part, 
I used my bone folder a little bit, but what we're gonna do is there is this middle line here, now the diagonal lines. And what we wanna do is take these and move that into that diagonal line. And it's nice and easy, the hardest part is down here. So I kind of take my bone folder, give it a little bit of a edge right there, and then go ahead and line that right up. And then there's already that little bit of an edge there, so you're good. And you brought that right to the middle. Now you're gonna do the same thing going this way. Again, take that bone folder, let it know where that edge is, and if you want, you can go like this and know almost exactly where to go. So you can go like that a little bit. And then you're gonna pull that one over and line that up right in the middle. And you are gonna do that all the way around, all four sides, so you will come up with something that's starting to look like this, and then you'll do your last one. Whoop! And then the same here. And this is just so fun to make these. They'd be great in the place of a bow, or what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna put some twine and we'll be able to hang it. Now this is a six by six, you could do it with any size. If you wanna make a real big one, do a 12 by 12. If you wanna make small little ornament sizes, do a four by four or a three by three. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna get out our multi-purpose glue. You are going to put one side over the other, just like this on all four of them. So the way you do that, you're only gonna need the Tombow glue, so you're not gonna need it up here. So right about here and down. So I kinda just open that up, put my glue, on the edge, kinda. And don't put too much glue. You don't want that popping out. And I like to use the glue because it does give you some room to move around. So stick your finger up in there. And once it's in place, you're good to go to move on to the next one. Now once I have this flap going, I just do all the flaps going the same way. It just makes it easier for me, really. So, oh. And then you're gonna do the same thing again. And if you've lined it up correctly, you should get those nice lines there. Now remember, this is designer series paper, so I wanna show you there is gonna be some white because there is white on the edges of the designer series paper. So you will have that little bit of white, but I'm gonna show you how we can get rid of that. I mean, these can really look pretty. And you'll see here, we've got a little bit of white showing from where that uh, crease was, but we'll get rid of that as well. And then we've got this one. And you'll see the star uh, starting to take place there. And then, again, we did want to hang this one. So, the other one I did not put as a hanger. It's just going to be to sit. But this one I would like to hang. So let me show you. I'm going to open this up. I'm just going to take a little bit of my gold ribbon here. And 
And I am going to grab, where did it go? I'm just gonna grab a couple glue dots here. And, oh, we'll use our take your pick tool on there. I'm just gonna open that up. I'm gonna put one there, and then this side is the side that's gonna go this way. And this one's going to go this way. So I'm also going to take another glue dot and put it right here. And then we're going to take and put these right on here. There you go. Now when we fold this, it's gonna come popping up the top there. Just like that. And you could, if you wanted to, cut a little cut a little bit, but you really don't need to. You just pop those little guys right in there. Wait, let me put one more in between the two, two ribbons and that'll hold it rather nicely. Now this was what we used, this was in my class this weekend for um, those who qualified, those who, who spent over uh, $50 on my online store, get to come to an online class with me at the end of the month. So we had fun. We made these, and I told them I would make a video so that they could um, go over it again if they wanted to make, make it again just in case they forgot. And we're gonna get that. If you have any excess glue, just push it right out. We're just gonna hold that in place. And now it's all done, it's all glued, and you're gonna come out with these, a piece like this. And you only have to put the hanger on one piece. But you're going to make two of them so you've got them like this okay so now we are going to get rid of some of that you'll see here that you don't this is darker than this you don't see any of that white coming off of the edges and I'll tell you why I'm going to take a coordinating color so this is shaded spruce and then I'm just going to take a little piece of my foam sponge here. Just a little piece, it doesn't need to be a big piece. And we're just gonna pick some of that shaded spruce up there. And, well actually I'm gonna show you something for the top, but we wanna get rid of those white sides and you'll see that happen right here. So any of that white, and it gives it just a little bit of a, a folk art kind of way, so you could see the white there, but once we go over it, it just blends it right in. And then you do this side just to, to match it up. It's amazing what a, just a little bit of dusting of this can really clean that up. Now let's not get on the hanger there. But you see that? Just nice and clean there. Now for these edges, you could do the same thing. 
but I wanted to brighten it up just a little bit. This is a little tough to, oh, there we go. Okay. So now I'm going to get out that gold glitz. It's called golden glitz. It's the delicata. And I'm literally just going to take that and put it right on the corners like this. You see that? We're going to do the same thing to... There we go. And then we'll do the same on this side as well. So we'll do both of them. And you can just slide it right across. If you don't feel you want to do that, then go ahead and again put it on your piece of paper, or I'm sorry, your um, sponge, and you can do it that way. But it already has some gold stripes in there, so this just makes it all nice and pretty. But you can use whatever color you want. Any coordinating color would look really good. Okay, and that's that. Now we're gonna glue these two together and how we do that is we are just going to take them and kind of see where they touch. And then where they touch is where we're going to put the glue. So you're just going to put a little dab of glue. Or you can use some glue dots if you'd like. This is the, the, the hardest part about everything is just getting the glue to match up. Now, if you wanted to, you could put um, some little candies in there. So once you know about where this is gonna be, you can put them on all the corners because it all matches up pretty equally. And this Tombow dries clear, so even if you didn't get it perfectly, it's going to dry rather nicely. So there we go. Let's see here. Looks like we, there we go. And again, it is gonna dry clear, but that little star has a little pocket in there. So with that little pocket, you could put like some little candies and make a, a little bit of a pinata. So we are going to let that dry for just a moment. And while that is drying, you can choose, if you wish, to put some embellishments. And you decide which, which side looks best. I think we're going to go with this side. Yep, that looks really good. Hmm, I don't know that one. <laughs> I love when she just talks to me randomly. All right, so we are going to take this little guy here. And this is the, what is this? Designer Elements. And you just put that wherever you want. But I'm going to put it actually going to use this part. It'll give me better placement. 
There we go. I'm going to put it right there. And then the same here. We'll put it all the way around. And you can do both sides if you want. You could do, decorate one side if you want. Whatever you'd like. Now when you do use this, be careful because it takes a while to dry. The Tombow dries faster than the <laughs> other. There we go. And now I'm going to take some of these. And these are little metallic pearls. Again, I'm going to go with the gold. And I'm going to put some of these right up in the center there. And I mean, you can just decorate all you'd like with glitter and gold however you want to do that and then I'm going to put one here well that one doesn't want to stick And that one may not want to stick because of the, the the things not drying. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'm going to grab another one just to make sure. There we go. And there we go. It's so cute. And again, that's going to dry and I'll show you some pictures but and then it just hangs it's gonna be such a cute little hanging little ornament once that all dries up there so I will be adding a little bit more glitz on here but I will show you a picture of the finished product in the pictures all right beauty I hope you have a wonderful day I hope you like this if you did give me a thumbs up if you want to see more make sure you hit that subscribe button. You guys, if you hit that subscribe button and you want to be notified, there is a bell and you just click on that bell. There's three choices. And one of the choices is, um, I like everything or something like that, but click that one. Make sure it has the, the bell that it's ringing. And there you go. <laughs> All right. Here is my host code. If you wanted to, um, be on my next class. The next class we are doing is the Advent Calendar. We're going to do it two different ways, one for Christmas and the other one for either birthday or, th um, not Thanksgiving, birthday or Valentine's Day. So, all right, I will talk to you later. And if you want to know more, just uh, check out beautyinthestamper.com. You could sign up for my newsletter there. And you could also purchase from there. Just click on the shop now for stamping up. All right, beauties, have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.